I just wanted to share a little video of what I do with all the sulfide clusters that I collect. I'm just looking for anything that looks worthy of keeping. Some of the rest of your stuff has some good stuff. A lot of it pings really heavy in iron. I'm sure there's a lot of pyrite in most of it. But here and there a chunk really shows really good signs for uh, precious metals of some sort. Either gold or silver, I'm assuming. So this is my Falcon MD-20. It's a fine gold metal detector but it detects gold and silver it has a few adjustments it's very simple I'm just checking the hammer because it's iron to get a signal and see where it's at safety glasses of course I'm gonna be breaking some rocks So I'm listening for the sound of the metal detector. I'll have to do a few adjustments to make it right, but you're listening for a noise to go off, like the buzzing to go off as you're pushing the rock or the object towards the metal detector. And that's good, that means it's a precious metal, metal or mineral that you want. Not mineral, but metal. If the sound goes off when you're pulling away from the metal detector, that means it's iron, very high iron, probably pyrite, something of that sort. So I separate the rocks as I go through. You can just hear a very faint signal. So I'm going to break this one open and look inside. And to no surprise, it has a fair amount of mineral in there, metals, probably pyrite carrying some gold or silver. Under the fine microscope, you can tell a little better. This right here is a perfect example of high in iron, so that's not a keeper. When I was pulling it away from it, it was going off like a car horn. That's the negative signal. I'm just looking for anything like this that has a signal when you're pushing towards the head of the metal detector. Pretty simple process. There's a forward ring on the head of the metal detector. You can adjust to fine-tune it a little bit more with two settings. And then there's only really two settings on the actual control box itself. So its sole purpose is for finding fine gold in rocks. So anything that shows a positive signal or a faint or no signal I put in one pile and anything that's really high in iron I put in another pile. Uh, I will most likely be running all of it anyway. It's just nice to have it separated out for what I'm expecting to get something out of versus what I'm not expecting to get something out of.
the continuous buzzing you're hearing in the background is the metal detector. I just leave it slightly almost going off so it has it, it's tuned really super fine so it can pick up anything. So when it finds a negative signal it really sets it off and if it finds a positive signal it's just very faint or like I said it's got a, a good signal as you're pushing towards it. That piece right there was really lightweight and just I knew it was going to ping negative with high and iron. But I had to check it anyway and I will crush it and run it as well. All these, I, I always wait until I have a nice little tote load full and then I go through them all, organize them and then put them with all the rest and eventually, like I said, I'm going to be going through and crushing and running them all and seeing what all I can get out, melt that down and see if I have anything worthwhile. I'm sure I'll share videos of that as I go as well. And all this material I just find it while I'm out doing my regular rock hunts. I grab it as well and it just builds up over a period of time. It's everywhere. Sometimes you really have to break the rock down to get into it deep enough to penetrate so this metal detector can find it. I mean, it can penetrate pretty deep rock, but when it's really dense or thick or which direction the gold is laying, if it's uh, like a thin slice laying a certain direction in the rock, it can really hide from the metal detector, even this guy. But I can usually find it. Some material will put out a dual signal that's a false positive. It just means it has a lot of iron in it and there's probably traces of gold or silver. And gold or silver will come up the same with this particular metal detector, uh, platinum. Also if there was aluminum in that rock, that would show up as a, as a good material too. What, that I highly doubt. That's definitely high in iron. Definitely. Sounds like an old car horn every time I hear that. But I still like to open it up, check, look, and see. Because iron and gold love to travel together. If there was a lot of gold, it would send, give it a, a false positive signal. You would hear the sound going in and going out, and it's kind of weird. This, this piece right here is very much a false signal. It, it's like a false positive. You can hear it almost vibrating. It was both signals at the same time. Versus that one that was very negative. You just gotta listen to the subtle difference. Again, I'm just listening for anything that has a good, positive, or even faint signal on its way traveling towards the head of the metal detector. If you push towards it and pull away, that's iron, iron, iron. Which, this area has a lot of iron in the rock, so I'm not surprised.
Okay, so for now I'm just gonna wrap up what I'm doing. I'll finish it later. I just wanted to show you my process. I'll go through the rest of these, organize them later. Um, I'm gonna share a few up close pictures of the rocks and whatever minerals I have. And then uh, I'll try to set up a picture under the microscope and see if that works out of uh, the material crushed down to really fine, fine level. Here's some of my crappy music and some really cool pictures. Enjoy. I just wanted to uh, give you a chance to see what I see under the microscope. You can kind of see the gold, it's the glimmering silvery looking stuff actually under the microscope because of the, of the lighting. But this has been crushed down to a 400 mesh and ran through a screen. I just wanted to share what uh, I see. <laughs> 